Today we're talking about the best format to get the most money for your items on eBay. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to talk about the best format, whether it would be auction or buy it now bins, as most people call them, on eBay. Which option is the best for the majority of your items? A lot of people are unaware that depending on the format you pick, you could get more money. In some cases, it's a lot more money. A lot of people are leaving money on the table. For us, it's a bin. Pretty much all of the time for like 95, 98% of all of our items go up as a bin. Buy it now option. The auction format for most of what we sell will get us less money. In some cases, hundreds of dollars less if we put something up at auction. Now we're going to delve into that. I'm going to show you some full-fledged examples from our own store of items we've sold and we did not follow the pattern that everybody else did with pricing in the whole works and we did it as a bin. So here we are, my store. We're looking at Terra Peak just to start off with, just to show you the immediate difference in most categories. Across the board, you can do this and in some categories it's more drastic than what I'm going to show you now all of the time. Bins I've looked into for years. I've spent a lot of time. I've done a lot of research. I constantly look at the prices in categories that I sell in. Partially because I'm always looking up items in those categories to make sure the prices are okay when I'm pricing my items. Or when I get an offer and I might double check to make sure there isn't a new sale that kind of dictates a higher price or where I can go with my offers. Something I always do. I've always done it if I'm not sure where I should be. Now I'm just using the word postcard in collectibles. Now, using that word doesn't garner probably every single postcard on the site. Some of them may not have the word postcard in the title. They may be in other sections. So who knows how many there are that way. But this is a good chunk of all of the postcards that have sold, not that are on, that have sold in the last little while. Now, looking down here, you can see the total number, 1,772,000, we'll say, total, Postcards sold are in this record. Now, this record includes bins, buy it nows, and auctions. Now, it also says the highest selling individual postcard was $6,000, basically $400. So, remember those two numbers for just a second here. Now, we're going to click auction just to give you one more example here. And we're going to search and show you some differences right off the bat. Now, this is only showing auctions. Now, right off the bat, it's $4,800 is the highest postcard that sold as an auction. Now, you're going to say, of course, well, who knows what the postcard was? There are different postcards. You're comparing apples and oranges. In this example, it's not the case because the postcard in question are basically the same one. They're signed, autographed Wright Brothers, Orville and Wilver Wright postcards. They're signed. As you can see here, the same basic signature on a similar postcard went for way more as a bin. Now, it sold for more as a bin because somebody just wanted it. There wasn't another one up at the time. Records are scarce. Most people don't seem to look. And there's other factors into pricing. So I don't use this as set in stone prices for almost anything vintage at all. And what you will also notice is we lost almost 100,000 listings. So 20% more or so sell as a bin than do sell this way. More sell cheaper across the board than sell as a bin for a higher price. Bins usually get us a higher price across the board all of the time. No matter what it is. And I don't price by what I always see other things priced by. Again, I'm going to show you some very specific examples of things we've seen and prices we've uh, garnered for items in just a moment here. Now let's take this back off and just search for all of them again. So right here, the top one is another one. Unfortunately, you can't see the photo because it's lost with eBay's issues, but it's another Wright Brothers signed postcard that went for $5,000, well over what the other ones sold for. And these are bins. This is a bin. Buy it now with a ton of shipping costs. Obviously, I'm sure because they sent it registered or with hefty insurance or through you know, UPS or somewhere else besides the post office. So overall, more sell. Overall, more sell for more money. Overall, they sell for more money in general 
as a bin versus selling them as an auction. There are some occasions where an auction is the best way when there is no set price for a certain length of time. So across the board, whatever category I'm doing in, these prices that I look at for comps and vintage items, not every vintage item, but vintage items with a certain scarcity, a certain value, I use as just a starting point to determine price on many, many, many items. Far too many people throw it up as an auction, dirt cheap, thinking it's going to sell for some good money. They'll do the 99 cent auctions, they'll do the 9.99 auctions. Unless you only want 9.99 or 99 cents for something, I would never put anything up at that price. I, as I said, probably 85, 90% of the time, I will do far better as a bin versus an auction. The days of the auction being the way of, of the road are almost gone in some cases. This type of auction, eBay type of auction. More people want the item right now. They don't want to wait for it. You know, Amazon, you can just go and buy anything. Most other sites, it's similar as well. So the days of waiting for a week, 10 days in an auction are usually gone. Not all of them. Again, I do auction some things. There are some things that auctions do well in, like eliminating some older merchandise, selling some very high-end items that you can drum up some interest and some traffic to as well. Those type of things work great for some auctions. But overall, you're going to do far better as a bin. Now let's show you some specific examples of this. Now here's one of my items. This is something that I sold. I've had it up for a while. I don't really care in the length of time. I've got literally zip zero zilch into this item. We bought a whole mess of these for a very, very cheap price. I'm talking thousands of these sorts of things. I bought these CBS promotional photos, thousands and thousands of them. I've got thousands of, of more here from multiple other purchases of just this exact same thing. This thing is fairly easy to get for us. It's out there if you really hunt around again. We put this one up for a high amount, $45. On the right day of the week, you may get $45. I put it on sale, $27.90, and it went off at that. Now, I know what the price of these routinely sell for this exact one. I remember this very fondly. I watched it on TV, Ricky Ticky Tavi. I believe it's a Russian production or something like that. I don't believe it's a U.S. made originally, but $27.90 is what I got out of this item. Now, if we look at Terapeak, and you can look at some other sites, as I said, just to give you some more examples, you can see mine at the very top. Now, this is an older one, so the photo isn't so great. Again, I'm upgrading, I'm scanning and doing a bunch of other things these days, too. Um, but mine went for more than the exact same one, and this is routine. Last year, you could have seen two more that went for in this $10, $12 range. It just depends on the day of the week, whether you're willing to wait for the extra money to come in. Basically, I did less work than the other two people who sold Ricky Ticky Tavi photos as well. And looking at the price wise, I sold it for twice what any of the other Ricky Ticky Tavi photos went for, including the exact same one. That would have been the same case last year. So I don't mind waiting on something because I usually do get more for most of our items. A vast majority I'll sell for more than other people. I don't worry about pricing them to follow suit again. If I price this in the $15, $10, $15 range, that's all I would have gotten for the item. Pricing it, though, higher than that gives me the playroom to mark it down. Mine was the only one for sale at that time, but not the only one that has sold. So you've got to count how many are there. If there's only a handful that sold of something, I will price it higher than what the other ones sold for because I will have the only one on the platform at any given time. So let's show you a few more examples. Now here's one of my cards. I showed this out not too long ago. $500 is what I sold it for. I can show you as well, looking at Terapeak, mine's at the top of the one, $500, the exact same one here. Last one that sold, sold at auction for $146. Now, if we could go back a little farther, three months ago, another one sold for $420 so dollars in the same condition, same card, same everything as mine. So I still got well over the last two cards that sold. Now, I could have priced it in the range. I could have listed it as an auction, thinking I'd get 150 200 250 out of it, which may be the case if that's what I listed it as an auction. But I listed it as a bin, knowing that these things can sell high. The condition's there. I, I've marketed it well. The image is good. It shows a close-up. Mine stands out better than all of the other ones on here. 
These are from many different vendors, not just the same seller on here, but mine stands out the best because it fills up the image and it's true to color and the whole works. I filled up my entire line to my entire title with as many keywords, SEO items as I can, and garnered the most leverage on that and sold it for the most money of any on eBay in the last two or three years. This is one of the highest prices. It's not the highest price on this card, though. This card is sold at some higher end auctions right about where I sold mine. Some of that information is available online if you know where to look for it. Now, here's another item of mine. Um, I price them higher again. Uh, you never know what you're going to get out of something in some cases. Now, I know what this button usually sells for routinely. I've had it probably eight or ten times in the last, say, eight or ten years. A couple times a year, I'll pick up one of these at some display or on a card for a dollar or something like that. So I pick it up and I usually list them fairly high. We've sold some of these buttons in the $40 range. Now, let's look at what they routinely sell for. Now, I've got to show you two different categories to make it a little easier. So we're in therapy, Bell telephone button. Best way to look this one up, you will find it. So here's one lot, not the same thing. This is new. It's not even clothing type like this, if I'm not mistaken. Here are two that are good buttons right here. Here's one that's basically the exact same button, sold for six bucks, along with an 1876 World's Fair button. Again, both of these would have sold much better had they put a higher price on them, separated them, whatever the case may be. The Bell Telephone button again, you just saw what I sold mine for. So, so right here is a perfect example of somebody selling something too cheap. Now let's look at where I put mine at in my category where the button went to. This is usually where I see these on this section. You can see mine sold for $25 for the one single button. The other thing you want to pay a note to is look at all the other images. Who stands out the most? Mine does. I've also filled the entire lineup, keywords, SEO across the board, highest price of all of these buttons that sold in the last two years. Last one that sold in this price range was mine. So you've got to pay attention to some of these things. You can get more for things by doing that. Here's a whole set of them right here that went for really, really cheap. Here's three of them right here. Same one. Really, really cheap. You price them low, you're going to sell them low. So I'm at the top of the heap in prices here. These other folks selling these buttons would have to sell three, four, maybe even five buttons of the same type to equal what my one button did. I'm doing less work. I'm making more money. I've leveraged my knowledge of certain areas as well. I've leveraged the fact that people underprice them. They don't market them well. They don't put dates. They don't put other information in there that will help sell your specific items. This is why bins are the best. Mine sold for $58.90 here. Now, there is no comparable one to this exact same one, but most people will price their item that's similar, similar-wise to what other people have sold them for. So, if again, if I price mine in the $20, $25 range, that's all I would have gotten for it. But we've sold ours for 3x times what they sold theirs for, without a doubt. So again, there are, there's many other factors than just looking at the basic information you see here. Like-to-like -like items or even comparable or similar items, again, you've got to be careful however you price it. But at the end of the day, bin always comes out ahead for us on almost anything in the uh, vintage and collectibles. Now, don't do this for clothing. Don't do this same thought pattern for NOS video games and things like that. You just won't get the money because there's too many others selling those exact same items. I'm working in limited category items here. Limited amounts of items are in these categories that are similar to this, so I can play that game. I can't play it in other categories. It's a comparable price to something, what I sold this for, that you would have seen in an antique store or still could see in an antique store. So it's, it's right at the top edge of what these go for. I know some of this information, so it does help. Plus, I don't garner all of my, my pricing from what I see on eBay comps like other people do. And I'm very conservative on you know, price estimates on some of these, so I will have a higher price listed, so I have some room to play with as well, too. 
bins just do so much better because people just want it. If it goes up for auction, there's always a chance it could sell for more than what they paid at the bin. At least that's their philosophy on it. For us, though, me researching this and looking into this, like nine out of ten times it goes for more as a bin than it does for an auction for the same basic item. Many times the exact same item. Many times the exact category or in general item uh, aspect. So you've got to look at some of these factors when you do it. But bin rules the day for us. Some good examples here of why. Well, there we have it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. human shape